The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning. It's the 21st day of November, and it's a cold one out there, so I thought it might be appropriate, since we're having the first widespread freeze this morning, to be here by the fire. Bailey's over there. She uh, she looks too comfortable to join me on this particular video. Just stay there, Bailey. I'll, I'll be done here in just a little bit. We have uh, not only freezing temperatures around the region this morning, some of us are going to end up in the 20s. As I make this at 4 o'clock, Montgomery is at 30 and you can see the temperatures right over here. Uh, Alexander City and Evergreen are at 29. Troy's 28. And how about Selma and Prattville already 27. And keep in mind, two hours from sunrise, so these temperatures will go down a little bit. On this video, we'll talk about the holiday week weather. Uh, there's a frontal system on Wednesday. Will that produce any rain? There's a frontal system potentially over the weekend. When will that be and will that produce any rain? And we're looking at maybe a more active period as we end the month and get into December. We'll talk all about that on your morning video, which starts right now on a cold Monday. Here we go. Absolutely frigid air covering the eastern U.S. You see these are wind chills now, 20s, then you see teens, then you see single digits, and you see below zero after the first snow of the season. Today, high pressure covering the eastern U.S. You still see that snow in the northeast and a big storm developing out west that we're going to be following for holiday travelers this week. Sunshine not as cool today. I think we'll be up around 66, somewhere in the mid-60s. I think we fall below freezing again tomorrow morning around 30. Northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, the big storm in the west moves into the uh, the plain states in the Midwest and the Southern Plains, but we're still under high pressure. I think we start to warm up. Now, Wednesday, you see the front out to the west of us still has some rain. That looks hopeful for us, but then as we get to midnight on Wednesday night, it looks like uh, the showers start to break up again, and most of the precipitation is up in the Northeast, but that could affect holiday travelers. Keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling on Thanksgiving. A mostly sunny day should be a nice day with high temperatures in the lower 70s and then low 70s on Friday. I'm noting a few showers being printed out by the GFS down closer to the coast. Just want to make a note of that. On Saturday, looks like great football weather and uh, more on the Iron Bowl coming up in just a moment. The European, by the way, on Sunday, I'm just happening to, I'm just going to mention this, is printing out some showers on Sunday. We'll see if that develops. We hope we can get some rain in here. Uh, 73 the high tomorrow, or somewhere in the low 70s tomorrow, let's say. And then um, a little warmer on Wednesday and low 70s on Thanksgiving and uh, low 70s on Friday. I've got a 20% chance of showers late uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. But again, uh, that's maybe overdoing it. Iron Bowl, temperatures comfortable. We're, we've got mid-60s kickoff and halftime. Lower 60s, end of the game. Rain chances should be zero for Tuscaloosa's kickoff Saturday afternoon at 2.30. Seven-day QPF, the rainfall outlook giving us a chance of a few spotty showers, perhaps. And this is very optimistic with our next front. But the GFS, the American model, out seven days, actually shows very little rain across central and southeast Alabama. The European gives us some hope on Sunday. I showed you that. And then it gives us some hope that following Tuesday and Wednesday, near the end of the month, the last two days of the month. Uh, so at least there's a possibility in there. We'll keep an eye on it. This is the European temperatures showing the warm day on Wednesday and on Thanksgiving. And then it shows a cool period of time early in the month of December, like the first two or three um, days in December. I think it's going to be an active weather time as well. This is the GFS out 16 days showing a warm Wednesday and uh, even Thursday, Thanksgiving, 67 on Iron Bowl Saturday. And then that cooler period of time, again, the early part of December. So uh, that's going to be Kind of an active time storm-wise, too, we think. So uh, look who joined me. She's not very willing. I'll make this quick, Bailey. Uh, I will mention, again, that uh, the American model, the GFS, out 16 days indicates a very active period of time at the end of November and in through the first week of December. I usually don't mention whether that far out because the models tend to be pretty dicey that far out. But I will when we're in a drought like this. So we'll keep an eye on that. Live update this morning at 11 o'clock. Baby, you know where that'll be? You'll be at my feet, right? At the Blue Water Weather Center. She's there in the studio with me. Uh, it's a little TV studio within the radio station. And Bailey is right there with me. Uh, that'll be at 11 o'clock at RichThomasWeatherNetwork.com. Live on the radio this morning on News Talk 93.1. We're almost done. And also on Bama Country and your forecast, whatever you want it. On eight radio stations, the Blue Water family of radio stations, it's a little warm in here with this fire going, 
But, uh, you know, what the heck. We thought we'd do this on the first freeze of the day. Say bye, Bailey. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Another video at 5 o'clock in the morning. Have a great day today. Okay, we're done, Bailey. We're done. Rich Thomas Weather.